topic is going to be stance, handgun stance. Before I even get into stances, what I want to talk about is uh, the real world versus training. So this video is going to be geared towards training, uh, training new shooters if you're a um, three gun competitor, things like that. Um, why I say that is that in real life, if you're standing still and shooting at someone, uh, that's probably not the gunfight you want to be in. Generally, in a defensive, real world defensive scenario, you want to be moving. And uh, in that situation, your stance isn't going to be either of what I'm going to show you today. But with that said, if you're a new shooter and you want to learn a solid platform to try to learn the basics of handgun manipulation, shooting, sight alignment, all that stuff, and you want to develop your stance correctly, uh, that's what this video is for. So that's what we're going to do today. Two basic types of stances. One's going to be the weaver stance, which basically you're kind of bladed to the target. I'm right-handed, so your left side's going to be forward. If you're left-handed, just reverse it. And basically, your dominant hand is straight out towards the target, pushing and driving the gun. Go out and get a gun out and show you what it looks like. Driving the gun, your support hand is underneath and bent. So basically, you're like this. From another angle, it's gonna look, it feels funny to me. It's not, it's not a stance I do a lot. Basically, you're like this. And if you see a lot of old cowboy movies or old uh, 70s uh, police footage, things like that, you'll see that stance is very popular. The reason is, it's very easy to keep your, mu your muzzle on track when you're firing. So your dominant hand is there, your support hand is pulling while your dominant hand is pushing. And for more on grip, uh, I do have a, a video on hang on grip. I'll put a link right here for you guys. So we're not really gonna go into it too much, but you're basically pushing and pulling, you're stable, and that, uh, that weak hand is absorbing the recoil. So it looks something like this. Things like that. That's how it looks with the weaver stance. That's one method. I have no problem with the weaver stance. If you want to use the weaver stance, have at it. Go for it. That said, I find that most shooters will shoot better using the modern isosceles, isosceles type stance. Basically what that is, is uh, you, you're more square to the target. Your feet are going to be slightly offset with whatever your dominant hand is. Uh, maybe a little bit back, maybe two, three inches back. Almost like if you've ever played football and you're a linebacker and you're waiting. Um, for the ball to be snapped or if you're a basketball player really any defensive stance in any sport where you're kind of up and your knees are bent you're up on your uh, toes and ready to move laterally things like that that's going to be your feet that's how they're going to be set up and basically the grip's going to be the same but you're going to drive straight out towards the middle of your body a um, few ad advantages of this, this stance is that generally in my opinion uh, any kind of moving target is easier to track like that generally because you can just turn your torso to follow the movement of the target, which is why a lot of three gun shooters and things like that are IDPA. The majority of them do utilize this stance. A um, Couple other uh, things about it. When you come up on target, the gun is basically, basically in line with both eyes. So both eyes are open on the target, seeing it. Another advantage of that while, I, while I'm thinking about that is uh, if you're cross-eye dominant. If you're cross-eye dominant, I, I highly recommend using an isosceles type stance. The reason is you can only have to move the gun slightly to use your off or other dominant eye. A lot of females out there are cross eye dominant, so it becomes a big issue for them. Um, so basically, you're up on the target, you're squared to it, and there's two different methods here that you're going to see taught. Both uh, work, and both are uh, taught by very experienced, uh, well respected teachers. One is going to be that you keep your elbows slightly bent while you're on target to absorb the recoil. And that's gonna look something like this. And the other method is gonna be that you drive out and roll your elbows in while rolling up with your grip a little bit. So it's gonna look like this as it's on the target. The advantage of that is that um, if you have a gun that's kind of slippery or it's moving around in your hands a lot when you're shooting it, rolling your elbows in will help you create cross tension on the gun, which will keep it more stable in your hands. The disadvantage of that is that instead of being able to absorb the recoil with your elbows, it gets transferred mostly to your shoulders. So your, uh, your recoil mitigation may be a little bit less than if you bend your elbows, but the grip on the gun may be a little bit more solid. Again, you have to try it and see what works for you, but I'll show you what that looks like next. So that's what that's going to look like. So basically those are the fundamentals of stance, both different stances. Uh, Weaver and the isosceles, they both work. Again, in my opinion, 
the isosceles stance is a little bit better for tracking moving targets and transitioning. And the reason is it's kind of hard if you're in the weaver because then you have to rotate your entire body to get over to it. Whereas in the isosceles, you have a much more wide range of uh, area that you can cover still utilizing the basic stance. Anyway, like always guys, if you have any questions about uh, this video, anything else I talk about here, a review here, you can go ahead and leave the comments here in the comments section or you can also post them over at my Facebook page. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you guys in the next video.